Hey everybody, Ken Walker here with another special request from one of my subscribers. Uh, I got a message wanting to know how to have an image show through text as though you know the text had been punched out or something and you could see the image back behind it. This is actually very, very simple and easy to do. Um, I was tickled when I found out how to do this years ago, but it's done with what's called a clipping mask. And you can see right here, we've got our text layer. And incidentally, I'm going to give myself a shameless plug right now. Uh, while I've got your attention, you know, you're, you're actually listening to me. So listen up. <laughs> Go to Photoshop for digital photography.com. I know it's a long URL, but check it out anyway. Um, I don't have anything terribly exciting on there right now, but what I do have is a screen that you can sign up for my uh, photo restoration course when that is going to be released. And it's going to be probably within the next month, okay? So today is November 10th. You can look for that course within a month, just in time for Christmas. So get it for someone you know who you love. It's going to be a killer course. Everything from, you know, recoloring and actual restoration of damaged photos to glamour makeup, uh, everything is going to be in that thing. It's going to be awesome. Anyhow, back to your regularly scheduled tutorial. Uh, this is going to be real simple. We're going to turn on the flag, and they actually specifically mentioned some of these elements, so that's why I'm using them. Uh, but um, they said they had some pictures of Florida, and I don't know how they're going to do all the layout, but that doesn't matter because the technique is the same. We're going to resize this flag. Control T, Command T on the Mac. I'm going to do Shift, click, and drag to constrain my proportions at least a little bit. I think we are going to distort it a tad. We're just going to cover up that text, and uh, we'll go with that and hit the Enter key. Notice that my image is at least as large or larger than my text. The moment of truth has arrived. It's basically this easy. Hold down your Alt or Option key on the Mac. Now here's the trick. The image that you want to shine through that text has to be directly above it. See how I've got that? Okay, so here's my type layer. Here's my image. Hold down the Alt or Option key. And see I get the little pointer thing right there, right? Watch what happens when I move that in between those two layers. Ooh, slick. What's going to happen here if I click? Check that out. So what it does is it takes whatever that image is above and it clips it to the layer below it. So only where there's pixels in this layer, no matter what that layer is, that's the only place that this is going to show up. And that's really neat because now we're on this layer, right? And with my Move tool selected, I can move it around inside of there. So you can see, even if I do Control-T and transform it again, all you see is what is in, in those pixels. And we can still go in here to our type layer. Let's add some drop shadow. Apologize, that's off your screen. Drop shadow, throw in a stroke. Uh, you know, maybe a black stroke, whatever. I don't think that looks too good. White, I guess, is kind of good. So we'll leave that. And that's basically it. Now, if you want to marry those two together so that they behave as one, you can, I've got the type layer selected, shift click on that layer. You can either right click and make that a smart object, or you can just hit control G and group those together and we'll call them text. But once you group something together like that, the group itself behaves as a whole. So now I can, uh, Sorry, I guess I got an email on my cell phone. <laughs> Hope that wasn't too loud. Uh, but now they behave as one. Okay, And of course, if you're into the smart object thing, which I am, you could instead convert that into a smart object. But for something like this where you just want to move it around, no big deal. All right, that's my tip for today. This has been Ken Walker. And by all means, if you're looking for some killer training, hey, Send me a note, but check out my uh, Photoshop for digitalphotography.com. Again, I don't post on that that much anymore because I'm really busy. <laughs> um, I do post mostly on YouTube, but if you go to that website, sign up for my photo restoration course, which is going to be released 
December. I mean, we're going to put a date on it. How about that? December 10th, 2008.